All right, everybody, back again. Uh, we're up against an OU-looking team. I see the uh, man. Are you kidding me? What's this thing called? Amoongus, duh. Incineroar, King Gambit, Nine Tails, Garchomp, Dragonite. A lot of heavy hitters here. Uh, we got the Ragtag Group, the Gravity Squad, if you will, and Arc Ludon, who is, hasn't really done anything. But, you know, you stand there menacingly. It's like what I talked about a while ago now, but you, know, you have that six Pokemon just to put doubt in the opponent's mind. I'm sure when my opponent sees, you know, this kind of team, then they're like, what's this guy? What's this guy? What's, what's up his sleeve? You know, what, what's Stinky MD up to? But let's get into it. Stinky MD. Please versus... give me cock. Hmm. It was I cock. I should read that name. It was cock. I just got a feeling I'm gonna say it wrong, and then I'm gonna make fun. Do you of have myself. cock? Let's do it anyway. Stinky MD versus Coxan four five two. See when. I was a kid and took like Spanish classes and stuff when you get to the vocal parts as I'm gonna restart the video because we can't uh, see nine tails when you get to the vocal parts you kind of mumble over the words that you don't know so that you kind of just you know you slide them in and it, you know it, it, it helps you get the grade in the Spanish you kind of nods along um, but I did not know what I was saying and while I did know what I was reading in that name you know, maybe maybe it wasn't a, a moment where we all pause and you know all that stuff because uh, I barely even said it right. A huge defense of something that doesn't matter. Thunder Wave's gonna go off. Amoongus is burned somehow. Will o Wisp. I burn the Amoongus just because Regenerator, and I'm not worried about your speed, so I don't really need you to be Thunder Wave. Nine Tails, your speed I'm worried about, especially with Flapple in the back. I don't need Nine Tails clicking icy anything because Flapple will go down. Gonna click knock off on the Amoongus, just doing damage to it. So you're gonna click Rage Powder. Free Marine is gonna go down. That's okay. Don't really care. You're not the person who we're here to see. We're here to see Flapple. We're here to see Stone Journer. You're actually gonna switch out here. You're gonna double switch, which is interesting. So Journer is gonna click Rock Slide, do decent damage to the Incineroar. That's another thing I like uh, Stone Journer for. I'm gonna set up the Gravity. Fake Out's gonna go off. You're gonna click Dragon Claw on the Sableye. I'm actually happy Sableye's uh, dropped so much because uh, I'm gonna get the will o -Wisp off on Garchomp. Now, I think my intention this following turn was to click Thunder Wave on Incineroar just because it's a dark type and I'd be able to do something and then I'd feel all rectified for not playing Prankster Sableye like a regular person. But it's okay, we'll live the fight another day and we'll definitely live the fight another day with Flapple. Incineroar comes out to get the Intimidate on it. I think my opponent's kind of up to what I'm going for here, but I don't know how much my opponent can stop it. I'm going to click Mega Kick here, I'm going to Terrestrialize Normal Type, click Mega Kick. Look, I'm Stinky MD, I gotta keep you on your toes, you know? I don't know if you come here for like high level gameplay or anything like that, but I gotta bring out the surprises every now and then, and Mega Kick is like, it's a big move, it's inaccurate, you put it in gravity, and I think it's hitting most of the time. Flapple is going to miss the Dragon Rush and then trigger the Blunder Policy. All of my, you know, harebrained schemes are coming out of control here. And Coxan452 is going to drop the GG in the chat because he sees his fate. Mega Kick's going to go off, even though you got rough skin. I'm winning here. Gravity from Stone Journer. My opponent's going to quick head out. Um, look, I'm Stinky MD for a reason. And it's not like all these things are brilliant plays, but there's a lot of stuff here that kind of just came out of nowhere. So Flapple with the blunder policy, missing the dragon rush, because this is hustle Flapple, not something I invented. I won't say that I'm the, you know, the progenitor of that idea, if I'm even using that word correctly, but something that was interesting to me, something that I wanted to do. And dragon rush was the move I wanted to click because I love doing big damage. I'm in the mood to do another battle. So let's do that. Okay, everybody. Congratulations, you've successfully made the transition to the second battle of this video. It's same old team versus what looks like a rain team. You have an Annihilate here, so I'm a little on edge. I actually want to try playing Annihilate at some point. 
um, give me some ideas. I'm running out of gravity matches, so I have to start, you know, playing Pokemon Showdown again to do the production side of the videos and everything like that. But uh, yeah, let's jump into it. Let's enjoy this gravity team while we have it. And I mean, look, the gravity team's not necessarily like going anywhere. I don't delete these teams. I, in fact, have a very messy folder of all the teams I've ever tried, good, bad, recorded, uh, video worthy, and video not worthy. Um, just, just there. So I don't know where that point was going, besides just saying that I have matches. Anyway, let's jump into it. Stinky MD versus Pixie Patu. So I'm gonna lead Sableye and Galvantula. Nobody surprised here. Uh, I find that the shiny Pokemon have a difficulty appearing, but I'm gonna look at the Thunder. Oh my goodness, look at all the HP dropping and the para. He still manages to track it down. James on the drive! If I'm a good YouTuber, I'll put the clip in somewhere. But uh, this and the foul was, uh, that's what it made me think of just now. So I'm going to click Struggle Bug with uh, Galvantula. Get the drops. It's, I'm fine with you boosting your defense, honestly. Um, actually, I'm a little worried because Flapple is a physical attacker, and so is um, Stone Journer. But it's a race against the clock because you're burned, so I'm glad I did all of that. Annihilate is going to boost through the moon, so I'm actually pretty He's scared. On the drive! You're going to switch out, and you're going to go to Porygon 2. I'm going to click Thunder. You're going to get paralyzed, which is great. I'm going to click Dragon Rush and do 50% to Porygon, which is nice. Rage is going to take out Flapple. I have no clue what's going to happen here. So I'm glad I'm in the rain because that means I don't need the gravity to set up to hit my thunders. You're going to Rage Fist yourself. I don't know why that happened. I'm going to click Struggle Bug, take you down, take down Annihilate. Port Yacht 2 is going to be really low. Stone Drain is going to come out, and all of a sudden, it's a 2 on 1, and we're going to jump. So Struggle Bug comes out and does massive damage because you just Terrastalized Dragon and drop the Steel type. You're going to click Flash Cannon, but Galvantula is going to come in and pick up the win. So look, for as much as I say about, like, dedicated lead, throw away, go die, look, everybody on this team needs to be able to hit a jump shot. You know what I'm saying? We got shooters here. We got shooters. I like this team. I really like this team. I hope you like this team, too. And I know I, I, I got to see the comments, um, but there are people who are giving, like, great recommendations. People who know more than me about the game, and I definitely appreciate that. If you see anything I'm doing, and you're like, dude, why are you doing that? Or, dude, you should play this. Or, dude, have you thought about this? Drop in the comments. There's so much to think about in this game, and I kind of just trust my gut when I go to play. So all that feedback, greatly, greatly appreciated. But with that being said, GG's to the opponents. Thank you for watching all the way through, and I will see you next time.